as we can hopefully see now we've got the game back on yeah. the screen. So Neymar obviously on this left-hand side now finds Sergio Busquets. Back to Neymar, uh, early possession here. Of course, the man in uh, blue is, of course, Jose, and he's playing from left to right in the home strip and kicking from right to left in the away strip is O'Neill, who was my pick, but again, in this final, it's, it's not easy. It's very hard to predict. Not that predictions have been a good thing for me as Messi <laughs> finds Neymar on this left-hand side. Early pressure for Jose. Nutmeg, lovely skill from the Brazilian. Probably some of the best footwork we've seen in this competition. He's won a free kick in a dangerous position. That was breathtaking there from Neymar. Beautiful. I mean, if, if there's any time that you want to whip it out, I mean, that the kind of flair is that we're looking to see. Yeah, for sure. And his attack... Ooh, as we are back into the game. So the ball up towards the halfway line now uh, finds Iniesta just on the edge of the area. Seven minutes gone here at the Camp Nou for the final of the regional Pez uh, finals in Barcelona here, of course. The chance to uh, really put down a marker for the world finals in Cardiff, of course, where they can win 200,000 euros as Messi picks up the ball on this near touch line. Twists and turns. He gets away from two defenders. Wonderful footwork there from the Argentinian into the area. Luis Suarez and Neymar just couldn't quite get on the end of that. And they managed to smuggle the ball away. Uh, but it's a mistake. And it's Luis Suarez. And it's 1 0. Advantage Spain in the final. Uh, Lutti, obviously, we've seen him in the uh, match just before finished fourth. He got to the knockouts once again there. But we're back on the way. Yeah, so 50 minutes gone. We're hopefully. Uh, we can actually get a smooth run now in this final. But again, like we were saying, there's so much at stake that everything needs to be right as Luis Suarez finds Lionel Messi. Lovely one-two there out towards the Uruguayan. Chance for Jose to break into the air. Good defending from O'Neill. A little bit of flair on the side as well, trying to take it uh, past his man. Rather than playing the ball in the box, tried to do a little bit of a two-touch uh, Manoeuvrement, take the ball past his man, obviously. Uh, didn't work, but he's got himself a corner from that. So, Graham, are we going to see a final worthy of a final, or is it going to be too much at stake? Is it going to be cagey, a tight affair? Because, uh, of course, we are going to go straight back to the game, and it looks like, potentially, there has been a second goal. Uh, we're just waiting for confirmation on that, uh, but the ball is out towards Vidal on the right-hand side. Now finds Neymar off to Lionel Messi, in towards Luis Suarez, back to Iniesta. This final is just about to heat up as the ball's played in. He is offside. 20 minutes gone here at the new Camp. So, of course, Jose is 2-0 uh, to the good by the looks of things, kicking from left to right in the blue arrow above his head. And, of course, uh, O'Neill has uh, the red above him as the balls play back towards PK. Now, PK playing for time now, you feel, with this 2-0 yeah. lead, it's 23 minutes gone. How do you feel uh, O'Neill can get back into this game, Graham? Um, well, first of all, he needs to get the ball back. That's the simplest thing. I mean, it's kind of hard to say with, with the uh, little amount of time that we've had to see so far, but it's, it's, it's looking like Jose's holding the ball. Obviously, Eldridge has got the, back, uh, the ball back now. That's O'Neill, sorry, for the... Uh, people watching at home. Yeah, so once again, apologies for any uh, information that you didn't quite get. Of course, we are going to just repeat that. Okay, so just to repeat, we do actually have um, a second goal. It, is, it has been uh, cr credited, so Jose is 2-0 to the good in this final here. Chance for 20,000 euros. Uh, not 20,000 euros, 20,000 US dollars, of course. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, and American a chance, euros. Uh, Amer American euros, a chance here to make it 3 0 on the counter attack, but the pass is poor. Uh, O'Neill with a lot of work to do in this final, Graham. Can he do it? Oh, for sure. But the, the key thing to look at, I mean, look at O'Neill, his, his character's changed now. He's, he's not bopping, he's not got his uh, smile on his face. It, I mean, that's not a good sign for a player that's definitely a confidence that's player. That's another stunning pass over the top. Lionel Messi with a fresh air shot, and it's trickled through to the goalkeeper. And it's another chance for the Spaniard. Uh, at least my prediction isn't wrong at the moment. Luis Suarez in towards the area, headed away only as far as Iniesta. But now Lionel Messi picks up the ball and finds Rakitic. Forward towards Luis Suarez. Lovely one-touch pass to Messi. This is much better here from O'Neill down the right-hand side. It's Neymar into the air. Crosses. It's Luis Suarez and cleared away at the vital stage on the edge of the six-yard box. That was a chance, Graham. For sure. I mean, I was kind of quiet then. I was just watching the uh, midfield play from Eldridge. I mean, he let the ball go very, very easily just before that tack. Um, and I was kind of wondering to see if he was pushing things, trying to stretch it hard. But he had the awareness to switch out to the side 
didn't quite work off him on that through ball there, but switching it out to the wing and yeah, maybe he's not flustered after all. He's, he's definitely getting himself back into this game in terms of presence and uh, position on the pitch. So, of course, there will be a slight bit of controversy uh, after this game due to the technical issues, uh, etc. But so far, looking at this, Jose, just, you know, he looks very composed, doesn't he, on this pitch? Yeah, he does. And, I mean, controversy or not, these guys are world finalists sure. uh, w between them with $30,000 worth of prize money. So I'm sure that won't sting for too long if there is anything. Of course, so there's three minutes remaining in the first half. A third goal here for Jose could be curtains in this final as the ball gets played through to Rakitic. Again in towards Neymar and it is the third and it's Spain three, Netherlands nil and it's Jose three, O'Neill nil and he's that game set match, Graham. For your prediction, yes, it looks like it is. <laughs> Just I'm getting sick and tired of predictions, that's for sure. <laughs> I will not be predicting the next regional final in Anfield, that's for sure. Lionel Messi skips inside, left foot shot in the... Tipped oh. onto the post, a fingertip stop from the Barcelona goalkeeper. Absolutely incredible. And in the last minute of added on time in the first half, that was a moment that could have changed this match, Graham. Definitely. I mean, obviously, we've seen three goals in one half, so it's definitely there for O'Neill to get it back in the second half. And that, if that had just gone in millimetres away, that would have made things a much easier task going into the second half. But as we see, it's definitely a chance. So, so Jose, of course, unfazed by the pause in play. Uh, and, of course, races away to a 3-0 lead. But, of course, we know it's a game of two halves, Graham. <laughs> so sure can is. there be a comeback here from O'Neill? Iniesta out towards Vidal on this right-hand side. In towards Rakitic again. Lovely pass off towards Iniesta. Finds Lionel Messi. Right foot shot. And it's always rising over the top into row G there in the new camp. I'm not sure that that's quite row G. But <laughs> anyway. In one of the higher rows, maybe. <laughs> So 48 minutes gone and it is 3-0 to Jose, who's really taken this final by storm so far. The thing is, he's had two shots uh, in the last few minutes and he's only had two shots on goal in the entire game. So it's clearly showing that Eldridge is finding his, his form now. And that's exactly the man you want on the ball if you are finding form. So one goal could completely change the atmosphere in, on the stage here for the regionals at Barcelona. Neymar. Pops it inside towards Rakitic. It's a chance on the counter here. He finds Luis Suarez. Has he got the legs? Just that fatigue that we were talking about, possibly from that over-exuberant display in the first half. Uh, might have got that in the first half, but of course, uh, like we said there, he looked a little bit sluggish on his heels, perhaps, as Iniesta picks it up I mean, for O'Neill. There was something telling there. I mean, When Eldridge is off the ball, you can see the way that he selects players. There's a, there's a line that pings across sure. the screen, and he... Just I'm just going to interrupt you because Neymar has a massive chance. Game on here inside the new Camp. No celebration from O'Neill. He knows he needs to grab that ball, put it on the spot and carry on. He needs another two goals. And boy, do we know he has that in the locker. Just imagine how, how much better it would have been feeling if that shot off the post in the first half had gone in. There had just been one goal in there. But he's We've seen the so right far moves. though, you cannot, you cannot rest on what's happened in the past. You need to kick on. And, you know, he's got it all to play for. There's still half an hour, remember, in Pez time, of course. Yeah, for sure. And we, we've had two goals in the first 30 minutes of this match. So there's definitely time for two goals in the last 30 minutes. So it's up towards Neymar. Possibly Jose trying to spoil the game now with that two-goal cushion with half an hour remaining here at the new Camp as the ball gets played out towards Neymar. Vidal comes across to make the challenge, four towards Messi, headed away by Piquet. Chance to counter in numbers here. Let Messi on the right-hand side, spins away from the first challenge. He's got the support down the line, but he cuts back in field and finds Rakitic. Bit of possession play, but finally gives the ball away. And now it's a chance again for Jose Graham. Time running out, 25 minutes. Can he do it? Can he get the second and the third goal to equalise? I think maybe he's just pushing it a little bit too hard. You said he cut inside when he had players going down the rock the line. I think he'd sent him on a run just a little too early. When he tried to play the ball, the guy was offside. He couldn't play it down the line. I think it was Alex Vidal, the fullback with the sure. overlap. Um, so maybe pushing it too hard. Now we've mentioned in the in previous before these games that you know crossing heading, you know, it's such a big part of the game this season as the ball gets played in towards Messi out of play for a corner. Yeah, we were saying it's so, such an important game, uh, such an important element of the game, the crossing heading. We've not seen it enough as the ball is smashed into the side, netting another chance, but a goal kick. Uh, are you surprised that we've not seen more crosses, more headers? Uh, or do you think the players know that that's something that other players might do and they nullify the danger? I think, I think they're playing to the strengths of the players that they have. When you've got the likes of 
Neymar, Messi that can turn, that can dribble, that can use flair. Maybe we've not seen as much flair as we could have done. Obviously, we saw one beautiful element. Was it the start of this match? Beautiful the, element. Uh, beautiful yeah. element. I like that. That certainly wasn't English. As we just look <laughs> at, at the formations, uh, we're just checking here. As this is the first time we've seen the, you know, on the left-hand side of the screen, as you can see, you've got Neymar and Suarez. They seem quite deep as a strike force there. Do you think that's possibly an area that, is that because he's winning already? He doesn't want to, you know, over, over uh, excel themselves at going forwards? It's, it's potentially the case, but also look at the fact that Messi's stamina is completely wasted. So he knows that those two guys have got to do a lot more running. And when Messi's on the ball now, he's almost going to be playing as, as a classic number 10, spraying the ball without much movement. So in this position, would you not replace Messi with possibly Arda Turan? Um, you know, you've got Vidal, players like that. Do you not think that they would do better in that position with a full, uh, you know, fitness there? I mean, you, you tend to see Turan definitely coming off the bench, but it's usually for the likes of Iniesta, one of those playmaker kind of players, and that's to see the game out. But when you've got someone like Messi taking that uh, Is he just talent, that good? He, incredibly. That, the, the sort of fitness is a five-time... Uh, international prize winner. Well, I know, yeah, of course. <laughs> I was just trying to get a bit of low down on the actual ability in terms of gameplay. Obviously, we know that he's uh, a top, top talent in world football. Well, he's been the best for many years in, in, in certain seasons as the ball gets played over the top. Looking for Neymar, chance to break into the area. It's Neymar, chance for 4-1. Twisting, turning, step over and challenge at the death right on the edge of the six-yard box. A crucial challenge which just about keeps uh, Eldridge O'Neill in this final by the scruff of the neck as the ball gets played over the top, looking for Luis Suarez into the area. Chance to pull it back across. Neymar just couldn't get in front of the defender and time running out, Graham. It was it, it was looked like it was, there was never really a clear opportunity he, there. He was, do we go around the side? Do we play the ball in? Do I hold up play? It looked like the, the, the defence of uh, Jose and his Spanish Barcelona side, I mean, they were just kind of penned in. Uh, but strategically there was no easy way through for O'Neill so you kind of have to feel for him that he built up play but the defence that he's playing against is just so good so just under uh, 15 minutes remaining as that a horrendous challenge there and the referee is awarded the free kick do you think with just under 15 minutes remaining like I said do you feel that w what's the cut off point for this second goal for O'Neill where do you think he needs to score by to give himself that chance oh I I'd say ideally before the 80 minute mark so then he still has time for an impact substitution after you get past 88 minutes, um, ooh, we seem to be having <laughs> more <laughs> strange ongoings. But after we get past 88 minutes in the game, then that's when you kind of, you, you need a little bit of luck. You need to, the unsettled nature of your players. I mean, we saw, I mentioned it earlier, with Kapop FC versus Colthurst in the uh, World Finals last year. Yeah. Two goals after 88 minutes. But that was like a, a world showstopper match. You don't see those very often. So if he doesn't score in the next couple of minutes... It's not looking like we're going to see a comeback. So last throw of the dice here for O'Neill. Do or die as the ball gets played in towards Sergio Busquets. Now finds Rakitic out towards Lionel Messi. He's got the overlap on the right-hand side. Doesn't use him. Still using Messi there with little or no f uh, fitness left. But he's still got that world-class ability that can change a game. But it looks like the referee has penalised him. And time ticking away for Jose. Just looking to run that clock down as he has possession with a free kick. Free kick to be taken, plays it short. Now he's got back to the goalkeeper, Lionel Messi charging down as it's sprayed out towards the right-hand side with Mascarani, it's overhit, and this is now surely the last chance for anything to happen here for O'Neill. He plays it in towards Rakitic, four towards Luis Suarez, now finds Vidal. Vidal still, they believe, O'Neill fans believe as the ball gets played forward towards Luis Suarez, in towards the danger area, hacked away again, resolute defending, but still in the danger area. Iniesta, one, two off his, off his, uh, I don't really know what <laughs> I'm saying, there's too much happening on screen as the ball <laughs> is ricochets, pinballs around inside the area. And now Rakitic, four towards Luis Suarez again, still, camped inside Jose's half and it's cleared finally uh, and that might be just the last chance there as he gives it away straight to Neymar and now surely Jose is going to hold possession no he's given it away three minutes of added on time the fourth official suggests as the ball gets played through towards Neymar lovely turn from the Brazilian into the area chance to make it 3-2 it's PK the shot was on but he tried to find L L Lionel Messi and, uh, and of course, it was blocked, and we now seconds from the final whistle. And Jose from Spain is surely now the champion of the regional finals here in Barcelona.